That was a quote by Nikola Tesla. Today, I'm going to help you understand the dimensions, the key to immortality, and the key to the universe. Understanding 3, 6, and 9 is how one understands the God Code, also known as Fibonacci. This is a code that exists in all forms of life. It is a mathematical code. And I believe what Nikola Tesla meant by this statement is by understanding these numbers, one can understand the dimensions of reality itself. Our original language, that is the language we are all born with, intact as pictures. In other words, symbols. When you were an infant, a bottle of milk was expressed by pointing to an image of a bottle of milk rather than using verbal speech to express, I want milk. So today, I'm going to attempt, 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 attempt and time by utilizing our original language. Pictograms, 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 pictograms symbols, 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 symbols. So one of my favorite languages are symbols. As the saying goes, a picture a symbol, is a symbol, thousand symbol, words. Symbol, 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 symbol. But if a picture is a thousand words, then what is a thousand pictures? Today, I'm going to be using a symbolic language to break down the dimensions of reality for you so that you can better understand space and time and what is truly immortal. As we move on and I explain the buildup from one dimension to another, you will see the way each dimension graduates to another dimension is very particular and does not change as it continues to build. This is great because we are then able to review the way one dimension creates a second dimension and then the way a second dimension creates a third dimension. When we realize the way this takes place, we find rules, or perhaps better put, a method. It is done a particular way. Dimensions are the same, so by review of the three dimensions that we can see and study, we can see how one dimension relates to another, and so on. So by the time we get to the first temporal dimension, which we cannot see, we have the key to understanding how it is then that the third dimension builds a fourth dimension, known as the first temporal dimension, also known as time. Today, we are going to start with the first dimension, and we will discuss the buildup all the way to the sixth dimension, which is the final temporal dimension, which brings me back to the quote by Nikola Tesla about the magnificence of three, six, and nine. The first three dimensions are spatial dimensions, while the following three dimensions, four, five, and six, are temporal or time dimensions. This is not a theory as we can clearly see the rules applied. The temporal dimensions are built upon the same pyramid. Three, six, and nine are very important. Hence, Nikola Tesla's quote, you would have the key to the universe what could be the very key to the universe other than the ability to master time? To understand time. To understand the three temporal dimensions would reveal that time is simply a perception. Each individual moment in space Time lasts for eternity. 
I express to you. The conclusion is that each moment in the many lives we experience do truly exist forever, 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 forever. As I attempt to help you understand this, you will see that every moment lasts forever, 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 forever. Time, time, time is only is a perception. 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 perception is another extremely important law, law, law within law, the way dimensions relate to one another. Observation, 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 observation is how one perceives time. time, 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 time. For example, when looking at a sphere in only one dimension, we observe it, we perceive it as a simple straight line. line, line. As a surface, as a surface, as a surface, as a surface, as a surface. Only in the third dimension can we perceive it as a sphere, a sphere, a sphere, a sphere. This law, the way that we perceive something differently as we graduate from one dimension to another, to another, to another, to another, to another, you're going to find is exactly the same. different perspectives. Einstein's theory of relativity gives us an idea that we can observe several different versions of now, 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 depending on where you're located. Now, now, exist. now, now, very different timelines. Now is relative, relative, relative your location. Now can exist in several in different several times, different times. times. Have the same times. Really compares with the idea that observation is a very important law among the dimension, the dimension, the dimension, the dimension. Time is relative, 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 observe it. You can perceive time differently. But the most interesting part of being able to observe multiple times, 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 times multiple times. locations, the idea that time, 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 time can time, exist time, two different places at the same, at the same time, 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 depending on your observation or your Relative, relative, to, relative, to, relative, an object of extreme gravity, 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 gravity. Several different versions of right, right now, now, right now, right now, right now, right now, now can be observed at the same time. There's one complication. The planet is much closer to gargantuan than we thought. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and the black hole that big has a huge gravitational gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. That's relativity, 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 relativity. Or two different versions of right now, right now, observe right now, at the same time, 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 or a different time, time, time. Very interesting because it shows that time, 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 time is relative to the observation, the law, the law of observation. Law, 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 Just like observing a sphere in two dimensions, dimension, 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 dimension. Observing a totally total still is like still seeing the sun from a Two-dimensional perspective, 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 perspective. Observing that same sphere in one, one, one dimension, one, dimension, one, dimension, one, dimension, you perceive that sphere as a straight line, line, line. Observing a sphere 
in three dimensions, three dimensions, three dimensions, three dimensions. you would only see a sphere, but it would have no motion, no motion, no motion, no motion, no motion, no motion, no motion. Only when you perceive it in the fourth dimensional perspective, perspective, perspective do you see a spinning, moving sphere. 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 They say we live in a three-dimensional reality. You hear this constantly. This is not this true. Is not true. Not true. Not true. If that were true, we could not perceive motion. We actually live in the fourth dimension. We perceive from the fourth-dimensional reality. And when you perceive the same sphere from a fourth dimensional reality, then you see rotation. 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 Observing time follows the same law that time is perception. In fact, the idea of flowing through time is simply a way We can see this idea of perception and observation consistent throughout the observation of dimensions and how they relate to one another, how they graduate to a higher dimension by building upon layers of the previous. Observation of time in several different locations. Relative relative time is time time just a perception based on your point of observation. Time is just a perception. In other words, time is an illusion. Time is simply perspective of motion that does not truly exist at all. Just like a movie using still frames that do not move, but by layering them one after the other with a small change in forward motion between each frame, we project light through these frames and get the perception of motion, motion, motion. And this, my friends, is time. time, time, time. A perception that we are moving, aging, and finally, dying, 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 dying. If motion is only a perception of endless frames of moments that last forever, then time, 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 death, 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 is the illusion. And the actual still frames are eternal. Follow me on my quest to understand the six dimensions and consider if even just for a moment, and every moment in our lives we cherish lasts forever. We not only return to these moments in our hearts and minds, but in reality. And you will see as we get into the second temporal dimension, that is dimension by, 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 we actually live again in other realities, another version of ourselves, 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 where we made different choices, choice, 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 which led to other outcomes. And as we move on to the final temporal dimension, six, six which I call six, six, the fractal of temporal dimensions, we find ourselves, well, not quite ourself, as we then do not experience our own multiple reality. Reality, we experience ourself, the other guy, i.e., you, I, and them, and them, and them. The fractal dimension we experience, very possible state of being in all of the universes where we truly learn the ultimate forgiveness when we speak of judgment. You will see, by the time we reach dimension six, six, six we have six, all six, walked six, a mile in those shoes as we have experienced being every person in the history of all. So let's get started with the first spatial dimension. Dimension one, width. If you imagine a sphere, 
from the perspective of one dimension, all you can see is a straight line. And in order to create a second dimension, which we call length, we must use layers layer, of layer, width, layer, layer over and over, forever, forever, forever. Then we have the second dimension, where a sphere now appears to be a circle, 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 circle. A very important detail to pay attention to is the rule of how the second dimension is created by applying infinite number of layers of the first dimension. To get length, we must layer endless layers of width. width. At this width. point, we then get length, which results in a completion of a second spatial dimension, 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 like a sheet of paper. Now we're going to symbolize the second dimension with a sheet of paper. Of paper. And now we can see that in two dimensions, we perceive a sphere as a circle, 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 circle. circle. Now, if we simply follow the same rules and apply them to the second dimension, width, width, length, width, width symbolized as a sheet of paper, we will add endless layers of these sheets of paper, which will give us depth. We will depth, symbolize depth, as a book. Now we have perspective of the sphere as a three-dimensional sphere, as we now have all three spatial dimensions, width, length, 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 and depth, depth, depth. This is where humans' ability to perceive dimensions end, end, and we have to use our understanding of the three that we can see to bring them down to understand how one dimension graduates to another, and so on, and how they relate to one another. This can give us the ability to understand how the fourth dimension, that is time, time, time is created and how it works. That is the first temporal, first temporal dimension. dimension. We call it time. The fourth dimension is time itself. But as we apply the same rules, we quickly realize that the temporal dimension is not real. It's an illusion. It is a perception of motion which is a result of the way dimensions evolve into higher dimensions. Perception is an, an important thing to note, as we recall the perception we had of a sphere in only one dimension was just a straight line. Straight line. And as we graduated to the second dimension, the perception then, we perceived a sphere as a circle. And only in the third dimension, where we are able to perceive a sphere as a spherical object. Perception between dimensions is yet another rule that we can clearly see because we can see the three dimensions and study them and applying what we know about the importance of perception in the three spatial dimensions. We now can realize the importance of perception and how it plays out in the temporal dimensions. I find Hollywood movies to be an amazing coincidence. As it seems, we may have taught ourselves all about temporal dimensions. In our attempt to create a perception of motion picture by using still frames in a order where one still image proceeding by another still image, only the next image has a slight change in motion, age, time. And in linking these still frames up into a film reel, we can perceive time as we project light through them and spin the reel. So it seems that we did is we created a mini version of the fourth dimension and the first temporal dimension. We created a synthetic fourth dimension and it has been right before our very eyes all of this time, this time so to speak. Yet nobody seems to have picked up on the fact that the actual fourth dimension, time perception, works identically. Which is not theory, as we can clearly prove this by our own review 
of the evolution of the first three spatial dimensions. So movies are amazing in our subtle attempt to replace reality, in fact, simulated time in a way that was so accurate to the way time really works. Just like a movie reel giving us the perception of motion, the fourth dimension of time works exactly the same way. And as we all know, the faster we move, i.e., the closer we come to outrunning the speed of light, the slower the universe around us seems to move. In fact, if we move the speed of light, the universe around us stands perfectly still. Just as if you were playing a movie on a projector, projecting the light through a single image and you travel to the projection, projection, projection at the speed of light, you would outrun the projection and you'd outrun the perception of motion and all you would be able to see is that one still frame being projected and no more perception, perception of motion. motion. Interestingly enough, this is a fact. So, as I'm going to symbolize the fourth dimension using a film reel or still frames of our universe, so keep in mind, one frame is one complete universe. All that exists in the entire universe itself exists as one frame that does not move at all. Just like a photograph, only in this case, it has all the spatial dimensions of width, length, length, depth. Length. Inside this space includes every star, all the gases and matter, that exist inside, but no ability to move without an evolution to a higher dimension. And the law of dimensional evolution, that is, layers of previous, would mean the only way to create motion in this universe, in this frozen universe, would be to evolve to a higher dimension and layer multiple universes that all are three-dimensional frames. This is where we get multiple universes, not to be confused with multiple realities. Reality, reality, reality. Just like the, the, the film reel, each individual universe without time, standing perfectly still, would be layered over another infinite. Only one would have a slight difference between the previous. This is what we would perceive as age. That is the first frame would have the first micro moment of time. It would appear to have a slight change in forward direction. Following the rules and how dimensions evolve, every still frame universe that follows would have a tiny micro moment of forward motion, a change that would appear to grow and move and evolve and eventually die, 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 die. Now we would have an endless number of multiple universes, universes. and somehow we would have to project our being or light, if you will, down a path from alpha to omega in order to perceive motion. That is, to perceive a living, moving, aging, and finally dying universe. But as you see, it is still merely an illusion, a perception of motion. Though all these multiple universes exist as one complete, independent universe, standing perfectly still, with no time, unless they are aligned in a particular manner, and we are perceived as passing through them in a uniform way from the beginning to the end. This is amazing because this means that time is not real. Time is no more real than the motion we see in a Hollywood movie. We can rewind that movie or pause it because each frame within does not actually move and it is not gone once it is in the past, as our perception of its motion is just a perception due to the ways created. 
This is why motion pictures are so amazing. We tried our best to replicate, replicate reality, 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 and in doing so, we built a scale model of how time itself actually works. So by simply studying of motion picture and some basic understanding of the three spatial dimensions, we are aware of that allow us to study how they relate to one another. We are then able to see how they evolve into the higher dimensions we cannot see. To study our own reality from within the simulation. Now, for dimension five. This is where you always hear about the physicists talk about multiple realities. Again, not to be confused with multiple universes. We have already established that we cannot have the perception of time without multiple universes. No more than we can have a perception of time in a motion picture without multiple still frame photographs. So when we build up to the second temporal dimension, dimension five, we again layer endless number of fourth dimensional realities. We will symbolize as movie reels. As we no longer layering still frames to get to the fifth dimension, we are now layering motion pictures over one another infinitely. Now this is where we get the multiple realities. Because now we have that each fifth dimensional reality gives the perception of every possible choice we made or did not make. And each of those choices happen in one of these dimensions. That is where we get the TV shows like Sliders, where you play different roles of yourself, where another reality exists, where you may have been a school teacher or a rock star. The fact is, simply understanding the facts, we can assume this is a matter of fact, not opinion. Yes, multiple realities do exist, and you live every possible choice you did not make in another reality of a parallel universe. You made that other choice, and you play that role. Again, in the graduation, of the fractal dimension six, six, the six, final six, temporal dimension, when we layer endless number of fifth dimensions and fifth dimensional realities in order to get to the sixth dimension. We have a temporal dimension that fractals into itself. This is where we get not just multiple realities of our own path, but the ultimate understanding of forgiveness and compassion and the real karma of having no choice but to walk the path within the moccasins of the other people that we are so quick to judge. What about Hitler? Doesn't he deserve to go to hell? Well, the fact is, by dimension six, you will have lived every possible life. You will have been, 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 him, been him, she, him, me, me, and unfortunately, me. Hitler, 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 the universe Hitler, Hitler, ultimate understanding and the reason the grand architect expects we strive not to judge because to judge another is to judge ourself as we all walk this line. Now sure, with the fifth dimension, Hitler lived many realities where he was not an evil murderer. But we will also live those realities as he, as him. We will all be him, him her, him, you, him, you, and I. I you, you. This is the ultimate way to grow and understand even that which seems impossible to forgive. But when we walk a mile in another's shoes, we then realize the compassion, hence the need for Dimension 6. six, 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 six. So I'm going to stop with Dimension 6, because 6 is the fractal temporal dimension. And I am sure that 9 dimensions exist, but I will have to do a lot more research and meditation on constructing the 7th, 8th, and the ninth dimensions in order to understand how and why they exist. But hence the saying by Tesla, 
If you understood the power of three, six, and nine, you would have the key to the universe. This is true meaning of the statement. And I hope today I have helped you understand, in my best effort to help you understand dimensional physics, many have tried, many have failed. I leave out all the math, calculus, and speak in layman's terms, and I am a symbolist, hence I speak in symbols. A picture is a thousand words. I choose to express my lecture in a video, which is ironic given the subject matter of how motion picture is a scale model of time itself. But if a photograph is a thousand words, then a video is an infinite number of words. Or better, a video is worth so much more than words. Do not even compare. As a symbolist, I use symbols to help people see and hope they can at least better understand reality. I hope you realize the most important part of this lesson is that, as a matter of fact, every micro moment of reality is an individual still frame that lasts for eternity, eternity which eternity. will never be destroyed, does not ever age or grow. Only our spirit, the perception of a growing universe. In short, the perception of age, motion, and learning. Our spirits are the only thing that truly move, grow, and age. Our spirits, like the still frames, last for eternity. Be kind to one another as we all are each other. We all last forever. And we all will be forgiven because in the end, it is truly only other versions of ourselves that we need to forgive. And once we realize this, in the end of the fractal dimension, we will see the true meaning of the logic in that it is truly our responsibility to forgive ourselves. Thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this video, Please like, subscribe, 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 and consider becoming a Patreon. Thank you. Thank you.